is accompanied by Gideon Ba today, freshly off the training grounds. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, what do you think of today's training? How did you do? I think it was really tough. <laughs> <laughs> really, really tough because you have a long break, so this is the only opportunity the coach has yeah. to at least stretch us a little bit. And our numbers were not full because some are in the national team, so yeah. it was pretty tough because we have we were a few people trying to do something big. So. No. I think it was pretty tough. Yeah, it's the, the the game schedules and things like that have been quite intense. It's you were suspended from the MIPA game. What do you think of the performance of the team? I think overall it was a good um, all-team performance. I think one of our best perform performances of the season in terms of attack and scoring goals. And I think we played as a team Especially we defended as a team and yeah. also went forward as a team and, and it really, really worked for us. Yeah. Yes, it was really really a solid performance all around. But you, you've also been really good during the during the first bits of the season. You've even, even scored a goal so far. Will, will, will you be scoring any more of them? Um, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um, basically, I'm, I'm a defender. So yes, but <laughs> My job is to protect the post, but um, I try to add that kind of bit to my game to right. move a little bit forward. Sometimes it it gets me really tired and difficult to, I mean, but that makes me a special player joining the attack and also yeah. trying to assist with crossing and all that. But with the goal scoring, it's, it's not my aim. If it comes fine, I, I try to score. Yeah, but you get into position a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Um, but you've also been booked four times in, in eight games, but you said it was it was an improvement from last season. I think it's half an improvement from last season, yeah. because last season was like the first four games and I was, I was really out, but it took me eight games to get one suspension. I think it's, it's better probably have questionable bookings here and there, but I mean, yeah. it's part of the game and I see as an improvement to last season. Yeah. Um, we've seen you play centre back as well, besides your usual position as left back. Uh, I've heard some people say that they think you could do a, to do well as a winger as well. So what is where where do you do you prefer to play a left back or somewhere else? I think for now left back is okay. Centre back at least you are we are confined to a position. Just stay no. back, give passing, try to use your strength and win area boss. But with the left back. You have the opportunities to move forward yeah. and be creative sometimes, you know, dribble a lot of times, yeah. you know. But you can't do that in centre back. But mm -hmm. I'm very comfortable in both ends. Centre back okay, but left back is more gives me shows what whatever is in me and I can show it to the fans also. Yeah. Alright. Um what would you consider your biggest weakness as a footballer? Thank you. My biggest weakness is uh, sometimes lack of pace, uh -huh. uh, sometimes loss of concentration when the going gets tough and the legs are really tired. You, uh -huh. know? you have to keep, keep the head up and that's uh -huh. what uh, the coaches and myself are working hard on uh -huh. to get that concentration level very high and also try to improve my acceleration. Obviously sometimes I'm really quick. Mm. Uh, in distances like let's say 40 meters are coming yeah. quick, but let's say 10 meters, 5 meters. I mean, I have yeah. to improve on my acceleration. I think that will help me go forward in my career. All right. Uh, you transferred transferred to to Kluby in what was it, February? I yeah, think. February. Yeah. Yeah. Any first thoughts on that move? I think it's the best move so far for yeah. me. Because. AJK is the biggest team in Finland and I also have the opportunity to play in the Champions League no. and it also gives gives me the platform to no. exhibit my skills I mean, because in AJK games a lot of scouts, a lot of managers from from all over Europe come to no. watch AJK games so I think it's a good platform for me as a player. Yeah, no. it 
has, has proven to be that during the last years. Yeah. Uh, this is your second second season in Finland. How, how has life been, life been for you here? Well, <laughs> just coping. <laughs> coping with the food and weather. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great place to live. Uh, I mean, uh, with the social life and everything, yeah. I think. It's a very good place to live, very peaceful, yeah. very harmonious, and I think it's, it's been quite good. Yeah, we're all trying to cope with the weather, <laughs> weather still. <laughs> Although it's a good, it's a good day today, yeah, in that respect. <laughs> um, tell us a bit about Ghana. I guess it isn't that that familiar to us. Oh, okay. Ghana is warm. That's <laughs> <laughs> warm. Yeah. yeah, it's warm. It's also a good country. Uh, uh, with great history and very passion, passionate about football. Yeah. I think it's it's a breeding ground for young talent yeah. in Africa. So I think it's a good it's a good place when it comes to football. And yeah. Yes, club football, mm -hmm. club football in Ghana. Yeah. What's that like? We, what what kind of a league or like teams should we know from? from Ghana? <laughs> I think two top teams in Ghana, uh, Marcia Santi Kotoko, yeah. where I came from, yeah. and Hearts of Oak, yeah. and there's some quite other good clubs there in Ghana, and the standard of the league is, is very much okay, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's a, as I said before, it's a breeding ground for young talent, and I think the standard of the league is okay, because it's very let's say, hard, robust yeah, yeah, kind football. of league, you have to be very aggressive to, to be able to withstand in the Ghana league, and I think it's, it's in general, it's, it's a good league. Yeah. Personally, I'm a bit allergic to reality shows. You, you, were, on, you were on a show called the MTN Soccer Academy, which you won. Yeah. What was that like? I think it's, to me, personally, it was an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. I mean, it was a big show in Ghana. Mm. Lots of publicity, a lot of hype. And uh, fortunately for me, I managed to win. And to say it's 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 a um, it's a show that really transformed my footballing career. Because from that show, I was really known in Ghana. And I mean, the rest is history now. <laughs> you won tickets. To, you won tickets to the World Cup. Then I uh, hope it hope it wasn't the wasn't tickets for the quarter final. Yeah. <laughs> Last. I yeah. hope it wasn't that game. <laughs> yeah, it was that game. <laughs> it was that game. Oh yeah, it's shit! The, uh, with your boy. Oh shit! I guess that match will be will be remembered for yeah, uh, a yeah. while. Oh, sorry to hear that. No problem. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but there's a new new World Cup coming up around the corner and. Ghana squad was recently peaked, and uh, how would you describe Ghana's line of defense? I think it's quite okay. Yeah. It's very much okay, though we are missing some experienced players yeah. through injuries or uh, or some other problems. But I think the squad picked for the Ghana team is quite capable of handling any attack. So right. I think it's a good it's a good lineup. Uh, I understood from from the internet that there's there are not that many left backs in the squad, and that left back position is is basically some kind of a problem in in uh, in picking picking the squad. Um, were you close on being picked? Have any idea about that? I don't have any idea about that, but uh, I think. Um, <laughs> If the opportunity comes, maybe someday somehow yeah. I'll be picked, and, and and I'm looking forward to that. But for now, I'll just concentrate on my club football and try to improve as a player and try to get um, the coaches well informed about my performance. But obviously, I have to do extremely well before I'm being picked yeah. uh, to or being uh, can make any call up. So I think the onus lies on me basically to performing my best abilities and who knows if you're doing well any coach anywhere would like to yeah. take you for his team. 
What, what do you think your main difference is from Samuel in, in whom is? Well, actually, he's a, he's a right back. He's a right back? Yeah. Oh, all right, I'm on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying to go through <laughs> the, no the squad. But who, who plays left back then? If um, you know. I think uh, I think Daniel Opari or uh, I have I've lost count of the quite a number of yeah. like, defenders, but I think to maybe have good represent representatives for, for, for that for that position and yeah. I pray and hope they do well in the World Cup. That's what oh. every Ghanaian is expecting of them. Yeah. So you expect advancement from the group group stage with Yeah, I, I, I really that's my expectation I think. Yeah. Um, in previous World, World Cups we've been going step yeah. further from yeah. the group and I think uh, we don't have to go back. The first World Cup we were into the round of 16 and the second was the quarterfinal. So no. I expect the Ghana team to at least hit semi-finals this time. All right. <laughs> we'll keep our... Keep our... Yeah. Keep our Fingers crossed for that. <laughs> but that's actually all that we have today. No problem. <laughs> Thank you, Gideon Ba. You're welcome. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Yeah.